the Vietnam hearings were probably some of the most extraordinary hearings ever held by Congress. They were hearings, an investigation into a war that was still being fought. Uh, that the Congress, and the, particularly the Senate, wanted to know why we were in Vietnam, uh, what the administration's policies were, and they wanted to hear from opponents of the war. They gave equal status to critics of the war as they did to supporters of the war. It was a real debate. George Kennan was one of America's most distinguished diplomats and also uh, theorists about diplomacy. And it was Kennan who wrote a, an article for the magazine Foreign Affairs and signed it Mr. X because he was a diplomat and he couldn't uh, take sides in this issue, really suggesting that the policy the United States needed to follow was containment. It was the containment theory was the rationale for the United States to send troops to uh, Vietnam. And here was the author of the containment theory saying, no, it doesn't apply here. This is a mistake. It is clear that however justified our action may be in our own eyes, it has failed to win either enthusiasm or confidence, even among peoples normally friendly to us. Our motives are widely misinterpreted, and the spectacle, the spectacle emphasized and reproduced in thousands of press photographs and stories that appear in the press of the world, the spectacle of Americans inflicting grievous injury on the lives of a pure, poor and helpless people, and particularly a people of different race and color, no matter how warranted by military necessity or by the excesses of the adversary our operations may seem to us to be or may genuinely be, this spectacle produces reactions among millions of people throughout the world profoundly detrimental to the image we would like them to hold of this country. I am not saying that this is just or right. I am saying that this is so and that it is bound in the circumstances to be so. And a victory purchased at the price of further such damage would be a hollow one in terms of our world interests. 